Hello there. If you follow some of my videos or articles I posted, you'll notice that English is not my the strongest part. Okay, in fact, I have some people who think they cannot understand, cannot read, and I kind of get at this because uh, you know when it's your English, English is second language, you have it kind of ways, and because of that, I always look for different ways to improve my language. Okay, improve my communication skills. So now look on some other applications, maybe using with people, translating, transcribe it. I tried to do this way, same like with articles. And of course, now when AI come up, I'm like, hey, why not? Why not try to use the AI for these articles? And I found several different ways you can saw some video I posted, but here's things. I found another one so they called Juice AI. And this service supposed to create articles very intelligent, nice AI articles that can post it on my blog. And they also says, hey, we can create for you even all marketing stuff. So right here is just AI and I sign up with this and we'll go try see how well it can work for me. Okay, we'll see it's plus minuses and interesting things that the multiple different places I found as well can do this. But let's try that one. Okay, so we go ahead and I'm going to sign up with this to my account. And you notice that I already created a bunch of different posts. So it's kind of interesting. Okay, let's let's look first what we have when we sign up. So we kind of understand where we're going with this. Right here you have your seed words. And seed words are supposed to be like, uh, what do you want to write about? Food, digital art, photography, that's what I put it right here. And this is will create this long tail keywords, which I can use it to create, generate my articles. Okay, straightforward. However, you can also type in. And I try all these different subjects. So I did publish some of the subject related to photography, all that stuff. And by the way, when you do this, you can take this subject and actually push it directly to your WordPress or other website. So it very seamlessly works, seems like. And even better because it seems like creating good stuff till we're going inside the content. So let's go see how good actual content it will create it. And you'll notice right here I created the website, top best website. So my, my approach was to this to test on this, okay? Does it give me top? stuff so does it will give me direct link to the sites if i need it like for example top best ai site the also i say what about we're going about subject like right here travel to santa fe what is best there must see site based on a hobby how to train your puppy when more instructional so we have a top 10 location if i say top 10 does it give me 10 locations or less because it's limited on the size also well blooming 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 grubber I don't know, I just type words and see, hopefully I go crazy and give me something interesting. I want to see how does it will translate, how it will create it. As well, we're going with a more fun FTL papers on engine. Um, this one should be easy, best photography place in Scotland. So you can kind of select this one. And who am I? I just want to see how it actually will go very well on a Google and find this because if you go on a Google and type my Vladimir shop and name, you can find everything. I'm open person on this case. I just wonder how well it will connect to this and try it. So, and then so on all this different subject. And you know, I found out some of them that work better. Some of them does not work well at all. And the most important, would it help me to actually improve my communication skill by creating better articles? And you know, just jump ahead. It does have its string and bonuses, and I see real, real usability in this. And honestly, I don't think it's out of box, like one click magic, okay? You need to do something work here, but it's much reduced. Okay, so let's go ahead, best AI website. And notice if we go inside the article, we have our outline, okay, it's good. We can add a little bit more, so it's by default, Give me and notice what we have our station, Adobe Photostock, Adobe Creative Cloud, and behind the couple things there is not AI related website at all because art station not AI related, Adobe, all of this not AI related. The art may be related website, however, they're going in alphabetical order, so definitely the subject wasn't captured and properly put it there. 
Same like on the text, if we're going, we'll find all oh, artificial intelligence, all that stuff going, yes, something, but in some cases, I feel it is something about nothing. You know what I mean? It feels like it does not put it properly, at least in these relations. It does have it put it some images in and the nice things about images because if you need you can replace these images from their own collection if you think it does not match but overall i think by the tags it does did a very good job to put it of course you can always modify change and look it's even at the um youtube video embedded which is kind of very nice the one problem only with youtube video i cannot replace them so whatever it's put it and in my case, I want to promote my videos. I don't want to promote somebody else's videos here. And I found no way to change. And actually, I did contact them um, to check support. And it says, no, you need to go in the HTML code and change this. So I think this is one of the weakest part in all of this. The rest is work OK. It's also generate for me the CEO analytic. Tell me what I can change and how I adjust and says actually score i think i don't know what they have their own score the base probably which is I could, this one can be useful i can see this way but overall text if we go analyze we can see it does produce but it does have some of these mistakes and by the way this is plugin what you see it's a grammarly which is does actually a very good job to go over text and fix the spelling and grammar as well and you can see right here it's come up with things that is actually suggesting some small things not that much but a little bit and you can easy to fix but there that is there's you know i always mess up with those ones as well it's okay this is one of the um subject let's go on next travel i found actual work the best okay even text actually very readable and everything what i've actually found about a text it is almost templating i cannot just take and blindly post it whatever they created ai created for me but the best benefits i can read over and change and adjust so it's almost like outline for me to what i want to write around and or change some in text which is i think it's beneficial in some case if i want to use this it saved me a lot of time so i don't need work from the scratch but it's not yet AI uh, generated text, not yet ready, 100% replacing. And, you know, and the funny things, because when you go online and search, like, for example, I go search for the uh, Chile. And this is article. It seems like people posted, but very highly, like, images come out and everything. This is okay one, but it still feel, see how many ads it's after generated to create click through stuff so a lot of stuff when i look and this is one of them i'm just randomly poke one but you can see how many and they can go to the actually if you've done smart algorithms and go to some other old recipe website and just take it from there and embed it in your website you can do this but it seems like um just example of this and way more places you can actually go and see after generated articles and when you look through how the text formatted how they put it you can recognize very easy and it's a bunch of political posts it's up to generate it now like this so anyway right here you can see it's pop up to like chosen choose some mistakes on the text but general it is actually if you read it it's not bad um i wonder if they generated or they took a snippet of text from some other postings the images seems like okay kind of going with themes again the images based and i do like the create compared to other ones that i was using different services this is provide a little bit more images better embedded and uh, actually right i think right in wherever the other software i use it it was kind of this one does leave it better formatting overall uh, does it do better job than me uh, to some extent because it's helped me to kind of split around okay anyway let's go to some more fun things so right here was uh how it was creating sites it's creating text let's go to like utah i'm living in utah so i want to go see how well it is the one thing i noticed see right here it's actually did not do 
um, in order. So it's kind of nice. This is what I want. Arches, Zions, Bruce, Glen. So yeah, they're all here. Kind of very nicely put it. I do like this article almost ready to go on. It's need just go verify, be sure it's nothing there. So how to train your puppy? Well, he's not puppy. So see, this is again, I don't know what he had, puppy eyes or something like he's here. Same, plenty of exercise on the train. Some images I make training plain. Okay. Some of those images are randomly. There you go. Just one dog image and a warehouse. Say some two. Okay, so we have it for puppy train. We have a two main and one in the feature image. So definitely some subject I think does not access. And this is based on how big library of the um, articles or images it can access. So this is actually creating that problem. Okay, right here. Blooming, blooming, glamour. Okay, I cannot even spell what I type it. Let's see what is going. It's start about hair. I don't know if somebody thinks something like progel. Prorail? What is prorail? Prorail is made up word. And it says most recently, okay. Progress or prorail. Okay, there you go. I created a new healthy things for the hair. So if you wanted let me ask for more questions about ProRail. And if you act right now, I will even throw Grumble Grumble inside as well for you. More than welcome. Okay, I think this is for some reason thought it's a flower or something maybe related. And it's creating article about this, which is kind of okay. <laughs> Faster than speed of light. Let's see how well it's performed on this one. FTL, light FTL. Okay, actually faster than light, it's T abbreviations very good because I special abbreviation to try see how well it will translate and it did actually a very good job it's just on FTL okay put it properly images jump point so actually this one article is quite a bit interesting the faster technology applied okay by the way if you're interested in some of these articles I have a website where I test it, shopandphotography.com. And if you scroll down below, you find right here some of these articles. I posted them so you can go ahead and uh, check on them in a live. So you can go click on the article and see by yourself what you think about some top photographer you should follow. And this actually did not bad job, but I think it's still in alphabetical order was going with some images repeating like this white image here. And this is repeating images. There was running out of ideas, I think. But you're more than welcome to go check these articles that AI created. And I did not modify them in any ways and I just posted them out. So you can verify it and see what you think about this. But in general, I think it did a very good job on some of them. Some subject I found it work very well, like maybe that FTL surprisingly work very well. Travel work very, very good. If we're going to like specific blender cinema, what is Vu? Oh, this is kind of interesting. Let's see. What is Vu? Vu, by the way, it's a 3D applications that environmental applications you can create it. But it is well, just a popular recent years. 3D model animations. Most people know about Adobe Photoshop. Okay, this is what is happened with a lot of, lot of generated things. The start of one subject and drifting away to another ones. Example, the VU is a 3D applications. It's a nothing to do with Photoshop or GIMP or other things. But you notice right here how it started and it drifting away to Photoshop, GIMP, create and all this stuff and start going over this there this is a problem with the majority of ai generated articles they not stick to the subject they started because it's not what created they created and same like cinema 4d you should know what it is the image definitely does not match and again we're going to consider it over the photoshop industry and start drifting away because they don't have enough information about cinema 4d but somehow ai must create this stuff Okay, and this is probably the main things you can recognize when you look on articles, political or other articles, you'll notice they start about one subject and they start drifting away to different directions. So it's meaning it was AI generated article. It's not human generated who can stay or researcher created. 10 best art generators. 
again adobe photoshop google A A art no it's not AI general I, I think this is one does not work very well okay geek at play studio my studio i do like this front image it was cool but it's nothing to do about geek at play studio okay it's the some how to create your own side however one thing it did find my latest video at that time when i posted and embedded which is kind of nice so it's gone through youtube in the fun but no this is not geek at play studio it's nothing about this it's about geeks okay some gaming bar open how to get customers you can see how much it was drifting out from the original subject now things to do in disneyland resort let's look right here ice and snow disney princess that is not princess so they are drifting and general what i found how to do a painting painting on it is just go to normal canvas so subject specific i think the it is based on what library it's accessing um article libraries image library and so on so for example the juicy i work very well for me with a uh, subject like travel if specific bigger places generic where we have a lot of stuff there um generic creative like adobe photoshop more popular names but it is struggle quite a bit to create on small and it's not just a juice i think it's a bunch of other ones who created does it get good tool of after all i think i'm going to use this just to create templates for me i don't think i need to create a raw just create this and drop somewhere i think this is tool is very good to create primary template help you with ceos and put it other stuff out you know just go modify tx be sure it's thick with all that stuff it's help you organize and give you quite a bit jump ahead on creating but it's a no way or shape ready for just a one click solution it is creating um i don't say the strong war of filth with the words but it is it's creating this you know unnecessary garbage on the web that is creating all the subjects you know uh, writing information so don't use this tool as is one click solution just use it how to make money for photography use this as a base tool when you can go inside and modify so I almost think about this it is idea placeholders and that is will help so I say right here you can see it does not um, properly um, even used grammar in some cases but I think this is a very good tool, powerful tool to use it if you write blogs, if you need a jump start on your blogs and creation on proper structure and everything. I think this is a very good, very useful tool in this. Like is there anything, you know, it's not magic wand. Anything is not magic wand. It's just how well you're using the tools. And this is just uh, another tool for those people who would like to create additional content. Well, thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you find this interesting um in some case entertainment you know in you can always sign up for free trial go play around see what do you think about this if it's create a good articles i think some articles was come up way nice way better than i expected some articles was um a little bit funny well if you like this give it thumbs up put it like subscribe to the channel and i appreciate all your support thank you